Excellent. Couple of little things uh, just to finish off. Um, some typical food that we have here in Spain um, against the names that they have in, in Mexico. Oh, For example, okay. tortilla. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So here you in have Spain. tortilla. What is a tortilla here? Tortilla is made with eggs, buttered eggs, not buttered, whisked. Beaten, whisked. Beaten, yeah. that's it. Beaten eggs, um, potatoes, onion, and then other things if you want Bits to and pieces. Things. Fried. And that's so if you say, if in Spain, if you say tortilla, that's what you're going to get. It's about this thick. We might put a picture up now. And that's a tortilla. In Mexico, Jeff, what's a tortilla? Tortilla is the soul of Mexican food. Uh, you, you could put the link of our explanation on tortillas here. It is basically, it is a flatbread made of corn, wheat, uh, corn flour. Most of the time it could also be done with wheat flour. It's just round and it's uh, soft. We use it to eat everything, like we don't use, most of the time we don't use, we, we don't need forks or knives or, or chopsticks or anything to eat, we could just use a tortilla to make tacos or like put anything we are eating, we could put it into the tortilla as a taco or we could just take a piece of it, to like tear a piece of the, of the tortilla and then with that take the, the food and put it in our mouth so we wouldn't get uh, food on our fingers, but still we could eat the spoon, so uh, that's tortilla. It's, we have it in most of Mexican dishes. Right, for example, chili con carne, okay, for those who said chili con carne, okay, you didn't know you were speaking Spanish, but just so you know, chili con carne is not Spanish, it's Mexican. Uh -huh. That's right, yeah. I've never eaten chili con carne in Spain, ever. Never. Never. No, mm. no. And the belief, certainly in the UK, many people believe that Mexican food is easily found in Spain. Is that the case? You can go to a Mexican restaurant, but it won't be exactly like Mexican food. No, no. And Jeff, in Mexico, is Spanish food, things like paella and tortilla española, is that easy to come by? Honestly, not. To be honest, I've never tried paella in my whole life. Like, for example, here people don't like pretty much rice. They don't like it. We have some rice dishes, but they're like just like sidekicks on our main dish. And uh, Spanish food is really... You need to go to a Spanish restaurant to find it and to eat it. But it's not very common. People are not really into it. Usually people prefer Italian or... Uh, hamburger, Italian food or hamburgers, I don't know. It's not very common to see. Except the tapas. Tapas are quite often. You can see them quite often. Cynthia, uh -huh. last thing. When you are eating your meal, when the food comes, right? In English, we don't, we, we have enjoy your meal. What do you say in, typically in Spain, enjoy your meal? Que aproveche. Que aproveche. And in Mexico, Jeff, what do you say? We would say provecho, like just that one word, provecho. Sometimes we might say que te aproveche or que les aproveche, but that's, we don't usually say that. Most of the time we say provecho. Like even we, if we see someone eating, like we are not in there eating maybe on the street or something and we pass by, we might say provecho. I mean, I hope that food is good for you. One interesting thing that I've seen, and I think it's very, very nice here in Spain, is if you enter into a restaurant and people are eating and you're past the table, you say that, do you not? Mm -hmm. You can say, que aproveche. Que aproveche. Que aproveche. Okay, as you pass the table. You don't know the people, but you say, enjoy your meal. Okay. Is that something that happens in Mexico, Jeff? Yes, maybe not in a big restaurant. If it's a big restaurant, we wouldn't say it to everyone on our way to our, to our tables. But in a less formal situation we might like let's say for example we are eating in a small uh, restaurant or maybe in a tianguis which is a, a mexican street market and there are some some food businesses and then we're eating eating something and then maybe we stand up and they we're living then we will turn to the people around us and would say provecho or maybe we are 
at our jobs and we have our time to eat, our break, and we are not eating for some reason at that time or we already ate and then someone else gets their lunch and they're about to eat it and they would say like, like hey, the like the polite thing to do is always to offer what you're going to eat to everybody else. Like, gusta? Would you like some? And we'll say, no, gracias, provecho. Like, no, thanks. Enjoy your meal or something like that. Uh, provecho, we usually say it in, in, le in smaller situations. In big restaurants, we wouldn't say like to everyone. So there you are. That brings us to the end of the, the video. Uh, we hope that has been of value and we're going to do more videos like this. Check out in the comments below, check out Jeff's channel as well. He has some excellent videos, particularly for those people who go to Mexico. It's an absolute must that you watch his videos, okay? So we hope that's been of value. Nos vemos. Y nos vamos. Hasta luego y adios Jeff. Adios. Goodbye everybody, have a great time. Bye.